Welcome to this presentation of Atlas V from Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012. In this presentation I'm going to demonstrate building a matrix report of some currency balances by company. So this is multi-company reporting. My report I would like would be currencies down, companies forming columns as a single report. So what I'm going to do is I'm starting off with an empty workbook. Uh, I am I do happen to have my company as a filter, is it something I'd like to change? So first up, so without this what I need to do is first come to the, the position where I want to insert the report. So Atlas doesn't own the entire workbook, it only owns the cells that it's managing, uh, the data from AX4. So I'm going to choose a structured matrix report. So a matrix report by definition means something going down and something going across. As with every report with Atlas, I need to do three things. The first is to decide which table the data is being based on. As this is customer currencies, balances I'm after, I'm going to choose the customer transactions table as the basis of my report. Next is a filter. If I don't provide a filter, then that simply means the current company, a default company. Um, I do want it to be for all customers. I could have filtered on a particular customer group or uh, type of thing. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go and uh, pick the location for my company account as I like this to be a parameter. So that like can go and get things from the sheet. Uh, the lookup or the filters for a report are not hidden away in pop-up forms. So the only filter I want at the moment is the company account so the which is found in cell D5. So whenever D5 changes my report will refresh. Next is a list of uh, columns I want to my report. Uh, so first I'm going to change my report title. Currency balances. Customer by company. And just as a default I want to make this uh, using heading style 3. And Next is to choose the columns of I want in my report. So I don't want this to be uh, transactional. I really just want it to be at a company level and currency level. So all I really need is uh, currency, the amount in the currency, and my company account. As I want company account to form my column basis. So I have three columns here. The amount for the transaction based on the currency and the company amounts. If I simply insert that, I'm just going to get a list out um, of aggregated data for sure, uh, but it's not quite what I'm after as yet. What I want to do with company accounts is I'm going to right click and make this the column basis. So that means for each company, uh, create a column in my spreadsheet. Now I have to decide uh, before I insert this, uh, where is it relevant to actually do some subtotaling? Again, I can uh, do it after or, or before, but I happen to know, for instance, that uh, there's no point adding um, column based totals, i.e., per company, as each row of my workbook is actually a different currency. So I don't actually need it to be per company. Per currency is fine, which is out on the right hand side. And I shall simply insert my report. So I have my, my first one is done. So I have uh, for one currency uh, my base amount, um, the currency amount for this particular company. So what I can now do is make my filters multi-company. So now my report's going to change again. I'm going to get a column per company. I said the company counts is to is to be the column basis. I could have flipped this. Uh, depends on what I have more of. If I have more companies and I could have said companies down currency across um, and vice versa and I can uh, tidy up this I can sit uh, use Excel's formatting to style this uh, I can change my colors and so forth 
I have a very simple report of uh, currency balances by company. Again, if I like all companies, then I could simply do a star. And it's going to get all companies from AX um, and give me my currency balances. What I can obviously do is add any intersection. So for company CEED, currency euro, I can drill down and see the source transactions that make up this particular balance. Uh, and I can go to another company, CEU for Canadian dollars, and do the same thing. So that's my matrix report, uh, which is just demonstrating currencies down, company across. Thank you very much.